It's time to shake things up again! You're looking live at a sold-out SAP Center in San Jose. Welcome to the 2022 WWE Draft! Let's kick it off with the rules, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, every single superstar is undrafted as of right now. 25 picks will be made tonight. Tag teams will count as one pick. Tag team champions will back at the titles if they are drafted separately. Women's champions will back at their titles if drafted to the opposite brand. Picks have been chosen at random by an AI system. And tonight's picks will be made off of tonight's draft pool. That means that there are superstars that do not qualify to be drafted tonight, but instead will be drafted on night two on Monday Night Raw. But we are kicking things off with the World Heavyweight Champion, the Visionary, the man with all the drip, Sev freaking Rollins. Welcome to the 2022 WWE Draft on SmackDown. Let's head that over to our ring announcer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. The World Heavyweight Champion who won that title back at WrestleMania. Set for action here tonight. Welcome to the 2022 WWE Draft. I'm Kirby Rodriguez. Thank you for being with us. The future of WWE and the landscape of both Raw and SmackDown will change tonight. This may just be the last night we see Seth freaking Rollins as part of the SmackDown roster. Rollins is available to be drafted on tonight's draft pool. And he is kicking things off with a match. And it's SmackDown versus Raw to kick things off. The one and only has arrived. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet makes his way out here. I said SmackDown versus Raw when Ricochet came out here, but remember, every superstar is unbranded as of right now there's no such thing as a smackdown superstar and a raw superstar at this moment no one belongs to any brand everyone has to be redrafted by the end of night two ricochet huge opportunity against the world heavyweight champion seth freaking rollins There's the bell. Here we go. Night one of the WWE Draft is underway, and Ricochet going one on one against the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Freaking Rollins. Ricochet in control in the early goings here. And now Ricochet. We've even more strong kicks to the head of the World Champion, and Rollins swats him out of the air. Exactly what Rollins wanted. It's exactly what Rollins needed. He goes to the ropes, uses the knee right across the chest, and we're all on the edge of our seats here because immediately after this match, we are going to find out the first five draft picks of the 2022 draft. Beautiful frog splash there by Rollins. Shoulders down. Kick out. Yeah. Rollins shot to the head of Ricochet. Now Ricochet in trouble as Rollins lands that standing moonsault. Good reversal there by Ricochet. Ricochet kick to the plexus. Maybe going for the arm of Rollins, and he does. 
Going for a kick of the back. Ricochet now. Perhaps he's looking for a springboard move. He realized that that was not the way to go. But Rollins capitalized off of the mistake made by Ricochet. The drop kick sends Ricochet reeling. But Ricochet looks to fire back here at Rollins. He hooks him in. Kicks him across the head again. And Ricochet going for the super kick. Can't quite get it. Here's the cover, shoulders down. Good reversal there by Rollins. And now Seth heads to the top rope. Looking down at Ricochet, bad intentions, and Ricochet moves out of the way. And of course, Rollins won the World Heavyweight Championship off of Edge at WrestleMania. We haven't heard from Edge since WrestleMania happened. I think Rollins thought that maybe as he hits that beautiful senton off the apron into Ricochet on the outside. that maybe he doesn't have to worry about Edge anymore. I think it was very important as uh, Rollins hooks him in here. Pedigree on the outside. That's a very definitive move. That could be it. I mean, it's a long shot. Rollins has to get Ricochet in the ring, but he could be it. Ricochet riding in pain. Springboard. Frog splash across the back of Ricochet. You got to cover it. Here's the cover, shoulders out, is it enough to put Ricochet away, Ricochet, Imperial Ricochet still in this! And Rollins is not happy about that, there's a drop kick down goes Ricochet. Back and forth we go, Ricochet hooks in Seth freaking Rollins and drops him down, dead center. Just like that, Ricochet has swung the pendulum of momentum in his favor. Maybe looking for the 630, headed to the top rope here. Now Ricochet off the top rope! Cover him, young man! This is your chance to pick a win over the world champion life of the draft! And Rollins powers out in two. You know, come the end of the night both of these men could be part of the SmackDown roster and if they were to be part of the SmackDown roster a victory here would catapult Ricochet it's perhaps the next number one contender look at the performance that Ricochet is putting on here tonight Springboard Moonsault wipes out Rollins and Rollins is in a world of trouble at the mercy of Ricochet Ricochet to the robes and look at this look at this In the first time that Rollins has been in action since winning the championship at WrestleMania, Ricochet is wiping the floor with the world champion. Ricochet off the top, looking for it, knees up! Great reversal, knees up, drop kick, face down. Seth Rollins waiting for Ricochet to get back to his feet. Ricochet, Groggy, Rollins, capitalize, shoulders, on the mat, here we go, pedigree! And it could just be academic at this point. He stump connects! For a cover, Sam Rollins picks up the win. Well, the world champion, Seth freaking Rollins. It was not easy. It was actually a hard fought battle. Ricochet did not sell, his, uh, sell himself short here tonight on the 2022 WWE Draft Night 1. And we're going to take a, uh, a look at some of the highlights in this matchup. The pedigree 
was what switched the momentum into the curve stump and Rollins to pick up the win. Well, Rollins picks up. Me. Oh no! Could it be? It is! Edge is here! Edge is live! We knew the former world champion had the opportunity to enact his rematch. And I think Seth Rollins knew this was a possibility as our cameras tried to keep up with both men. Because Rollins is marching up the station. Here we go! Rollins at edge! Rollins at edge! Let the battle continue. Rollins and Edge. Former world champion Edge giving Rollins the beat down of the center. Whoa, and oh man, Rollins blocking the spear. And now Rollins with shots to the face of Edge. Taking a step back, Rollins in trouble in position. So Rollins blocks it again, kick to the box, the shot to the back. And Edge wants that exclamation point. Spear! It is thunderous tonight here in San Jose. As Edge lays out Rollins. Oh no, trouble brewing, another spear, we're gonna take a break, we'll be right back on SmackDown. We're back live on SmackDown, this happened before the break, Edge making his return to the WWE and engaging in a physical battle with the new World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins, the spear will be hit by Edge to wipe out Rollins, not once, but twice. And over the break, it became official. Now we can announce it to you. At WrestleMania Backlash, it'll be the Rated R Superstar Ash versus Steph Rollins. Ash cashing in his rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship live in two weeks at WrestleMania Backlash. Well, that's a no-brainer. Seth freaking Rollins, the visionary, the world heavyweight champion, is the first draft pick. Rollins remains a part of SmackDown. Io Shirai, the Raw Women's Champion, another no-brainer, the winner of the 2022 Royal Rumble. She continues on Monday Night Raw. Who's next? Oh, interesting. The New Day, the WWE Tag Team Champions, but this is a very interesting pick because it's only Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, Intercontinental Champion Big E cannot be drafted until the next episode of the draft. Bianca Belair remains, or I should say goes to Monday Night Raw, the former Women's Champion and former Women's Tag Team Champion is now part of the team on Monday Night. And Sasha Banks, the legit boss and the number one contender at the SmackDown Women's Championship remains on SmackDown. She'll face Bayley for that championship tonight. And here's a look at the first round of the WWE Draft. World Champion Rollins remains on SmackDown. Raw Women's Champion Io Shirai remains on Raw The New Day. WWE Tag Team Champions remain on SmackDown. Belair moving over to Monday Night. And Sasha Banks remains on the blue brand. Interestingly enough, once again on that draft pick of the New Day. And speaking of which, here comes Sasha Banks. B 
Three Geek could not be drafted tonight. He's not part of tonight's draft pool as he is the Intercontinental Champion. He'll be drafted on the second night of the draft. Meanwhile, back here at ringside, Sacha Banks, the legit boss, became the number one contender at the SmackDown Women's Championship by winning the Evolution Tournament at WrestleMania. Instead of waiting for WrestleMania Backlash, the legit boss says she'll have that title opportunity and she'll have it tonight as part of night one of the WWE Draft. It is already a big fight field here in San Jose. The question is, why exactly Sasha would choose to have this match tonight? If I explain myself correctly, this is Bailey's hometown. We are in San Jose, California. This is the arena where Bailey used to come see WWE shows all the time. So wouldn't Bailey have a home field advantage here tonight? Well, that's for Sasha to decide. She's the one who asked for the matchup. And we're getting it. SmackDown Women's Championship on the line coming up here tonight. On night one of the WWE Draft. For the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bayley, it's gonna be a tumultuous couple of days. Allow me to explain myself. She has to defend that championship tonight. She could lose it to Sasha Banks, who's already a member of the SmackDown roster. As so of right now, Bayley is not assigned to any brand. But, she's also not in the draft pool for tonight. She will be drafted on the episode of Raw of the WWE Draft. Thing is, if Bailey were to be drafted to Monday Night Raw, she cannot keep the SmackDown Women's Championship. She would have to backhate the title. So tumultuous to say the least. Because Bailey, without any power of her own, if she were to retain here tonight, could lose the SmackDown Women's Championship. Capacity crowd here in San Jose. Let's send it down to ringside for introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Bayley! Both of these women know what it's like to be a champion. They know what it's like to be as successful as they are. Tonight, they meet again for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Sacha Manx, Bailey. Big Five Field. Here we go. Manx firing at all cylinders here. Repeated shots against Bailey. Picked her up on top of her shoulders. Drops her down with the driver. Shoulders down. SmackDown Women's Championship up for grabs. Kick out at two by Bailey. Great shot to the face there by Sasha. Bailey fires back with a shot to the face of her own. Wipes her away. Bailey heads to the top rope looking down at Sasha. Sasha. Travel! Sasha, I don't know if, she, if Bailey got all of that, but she, uh, she, she had the opportunity to wipe out Sasha. And that leads us into a cover. Shoulders down. SmackDown Women's Championship. Up for grabs. Kick out. Big knee there. A kick to the face. Meanwhile, Bailey sending Sasha over the third rope. Oh, and look at this. Look at those shots by Bailey. 
right to the chest of Sasha Banks. And you can hear the screams of agony by the legit boss. You're watching night one of the WWE Draft. We are live in San Jose, Bailey's hometown. And now the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. Sasha sent crashing into that barricade not once but twice. Count of three. And now Bailey carrying Sasha. Back in the ring, but Sasha fires back. Sending Bailey flying across the ring. To Bailey, shoulders down, hooks the leg, title on the line, and Sasha gets the shoulder up. <laughs> Sasha sent to the ropes, meets Bailey in the middle. Kick, going for the DDT. Bailey blocks her. Bailey shots to the ribs of Sasha. She blocks the whole thing. Instead, she takes Sasha down for the cover. Shoulders down, too close to the ropes. SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. Sasha moves out of the way. Both women looking for each other. They can't find themselves. Sasha looks to get the opportunity here. Picks up Bailey, sends her face first, crashing into the turn local post. Sasha has Bailey in trouble. Bailey looks to fire her back. Sasha. Could be it, we've seen her hit this neck breaker before. She's won titles with this neck breaker. Into a cover, hooks the leg, smacks that women's championship on the line, kick count at two. We are a mere couple of minutes in. And this is already a fantastic match. Sasha with the bank statement. Bank statement locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Everybody watch out. We're going to crown a new SmackDown Women's Champion. And Bailey turns it into a cover. Shoulders down. The official looking for the better position to go for the cover. Isn't it off? And a kick out by Sasha. And Sasha benefited there from the official looking for the good position to find out if her shoulders were actually on the mat. And Bailey sends her flying right to the outside. Well, Bailey with a senton wipes out Sasha on the outside. Two. Bailey heads to the top rope, looking down at Sasha Banks, and Banks in trouble. Bailey off the top. Could it be Macho Man elbow across the chest of Sasha? The count starts again. Great reversal here by Bailey and Ziguri to the back of the head. Great shot. When Bailey was looking to drive that knee into the head of Sasha, Sasha moves out of the way. And Bailey crashed her knee against the, the hard ground here at the SAP Center. Five. It's kind of five. Bailey clips the legs of Sasha Banks. Bailey heads to the top rope, looking for that elbow drop again. And she gets it. I don't know if she got all of it, but she got it. And that leads us into a cover. Shoulders down. Is it enough? Put her away here. Could it be? Kick out again. I wouldn't call it kick out so much as Sasha getting her shoulder up. We got another cover here by a frustrated Bailey. And uh, once again, Sasha gets that shoulder up. Uh, uh, Sasha set up on the top rope by Bailey. Bailey to Bailey of the top rope. Uh, oh no! I was gonna say that was gonna be it. Meteora by Sasha leads into a cover. SmackDown Women's Championship up for grabs. Is it enough? Kick out. 
This is awesome! What a match! They meet in the middle with whatever Bailey was trying to do, and Bailey driving the head of Sasha, or the back of the head of Sasha, right into the canvas. Over the turret rope, Sasha dumped to the outside. Sasha looking to fire back here, going for a suplex on the outside of the ring. Doesn't quite work that way. Suplex by Bailey herself. And what the hell? Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez. And now puts away Banks. What? What in the world is going on here? Well, Gonzalez turns her attention to Bailey. And drives her right to the mat. What the hell? Raquel Gonzalez wrecking havoc with Sasha and Bailey. And now Sasha once again driven into the cold hard ground here at the SAP Center. We're gonna try to get this situation under control as night one of the WWE drafts on SmackDown continues. gonna be oh interesting Austin Deary the young man from Atlanta Georgia six foot one 220 pounds 24 years old this young superstar has a lot of upstart raw with eyes in the future whoa what a pick Imperium is headed to Smackdown former world tag team champions Walter Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner coming all together to Friday night Oh, this is a great pick for Raw Finn Balor, the former world champion, former Royal Rumble winner, the Prince of WWE. Finn Balor remains a Monday night. The underdog from the underground, the great liberator Sami Zayn, former Intercontinental Champion and former Tag Team Champion, will continue to be a part of SmackDown on the space. Oh, another great pick for the future of Monday Night Raw. Raw looks to live forever with Damian Priest, the 6'7", 251 pounds young man from New York City, joins Monday Night. And this is round two of the draft. Austin Theory headed to Raw Imperium, all together coming to SmackDown. Finn Balor remaining on Monday Night. So is Sami Zayn remaining on SmackDown. And Damian Priest now part of Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, here at ringside, the uh, night one of the Little League Draft continues on SmackDown. Here's a superstar that is undrafted as of this moment. Riddle! Well, it's already been a shocking night here in the WWE Draft. And now Riddle is here. The following contest is scheduled for his way to the ring, representing R.K. Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle! Riddle! How cool would it be if Riddle were to join SmackDown? I would love that. Well, Riddle is the winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Part of the WrestleMania kickoff show. He takes on Pete Dunne. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiser Wings, Pete Dunne. Well, they call him the Bruiser Wings. They also call him the Butch. Pete Dunne, 
making his way out here. For this uh, exhibition matchup as part of night one of the 2022 WWE Draft. Two rounds in, 10 superstars have been drafted. We know that Seth Rollins will remain on SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion. We know that Io Shirai will remain on Monday Night Raw as the Raw Women's Champion. And the story continues to be the New Day. They got drafted. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Big E not drafted because he is not available to be drafted tonight. He will be drafted in night two of the WWE Draft because he is the Intercontinental Champion. And these effectively could separate Big E from the New Day. It's a, it's a huge moment for, for these three men. There's the bell. Here we go. Riddle and Pete Dunn. Riddle with the knee across the face of Pete Dunn and then the kick right across the head. Can put him away quickly. Shoulders down here is enough. Kick out. Strong shots there by Riddle. Good grief. He's really laying it to the Bruiser Way Pete Dunn. Dunn now looking to capitalize, but Riddle with the reversal on drag. Down goes Dunn. Leads us into a cover. Shoulders down. Is that enough to put him away here? Kick out. Both of these men trying to make an impression on the WWE Universe. Riddle, of course, he won the WrestleMania Andrew Dunn Memorial Battle Royal. See how it hits those beautiful kicks right to the chest of Pete Dunn. Incredible flexibility and agility uh, shown there by Riddle. But uh, remember, uh, this isn't the general managers picking the draft picks. This is the uh, well thought out, as we see a cover here of the Roton from the top row, shoulders down, hooks the leg, kick out. The well thought out electronic AI system. Um, is choosing which superstar goes where. And uh, Riddle, at the very least, is on the draft board tonight. He could uh, finish the night as a member of the SmackDown roster. If that were to be the case, he wants to leave out a good impression of a victory here tonight. Of course, Pete Dunne doesn't want to allow that. He doesn't want to allow anybody to make a name for themselves at his expense. That's why he's going right for the arm. Line pressure to the arm right there. And then dropping the knee right across the back of Riddle. Good follow up here by uh, by Pete Dunn. Those kicks right across the back lead us into a cover. Shoulders down, hooks the leg. Is it enough? To wait, he got it too. Good block there. Back and forth we go. And now, Exploder Suplex. Forearm to the face, beat down, wiped out. Oh, it's going for that kick! And while Pete Dunn reversed it, I don't see... I, I was going to say I don't see him capitalizing, but Pete Dunn could be capitalizing here. Sending Riddle into the corner, but Riddle fires back. Forearm to the face. Now waiting on Dunn to get back to his feet. And these could be it here. Bro! Derek! Shoulders down here. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? This one could be academic here, and Dunn's still in it. Riddle heads to the top rope. Looks for the Broton. He gets it. And off the Broton into a cover. Shoulders down. Hooks the leg. Kick out. Kick across the back by Riddle. Oh, and a great reversal. I was going to say great reversal by Pete Dunn, but a great reversal by Riddle instead. Riddle fires back here. 
Going for it. Cool reversal. German suplex. Oh, shots. Good grief. Pete Dunn taking it to Riddle. Bringing him back to the center of the ring. Maybe thinking to go for cover. Or not. Kicks there by Pete. Going right for the arm. Into a cover. Hoops the leg. Is it enough? Pete Dunn to put Riddle away. Kick out of two. Shot there by Dunn. Dunn goes right for the leg of Riddle. Riddle riding in pain. And going for a sharpshooter. Well, some Mitchum number locked in. Pete Dunn in the driver's seat. But he lets it go. May have been losing his grip there. Good reverse all here by Riddle clipping the leg of Pete Dunn. Side of the head. Oh, and another one, two in a row. Dunn could be knocked the hell out. And just in time for the bro, Derek. Shoulders down, hooks the leg, is it enough? Riddle put him away, gets the victory. Riddle picks up the win and looks good doing it on the night one of the WWE Draft. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to find out the next five picks of the 2022 WWE Draft. Oh, this is a great pick, Legato del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wild, Cruz del Toro, Join us on SmackDown as Legado de Fantasma. Well, Monday Night Raw is ready to join the raid. The former World Tag Team Champions, Ivor and Eric, the Viking Raiders, set to join Monday Night. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Well, Nikki Cross has been drafted. As you can see on the graphic, it says former Women's Tag Team Champion. This is a surprise! Oh, come on! Well, Nikki Cross to SmackDown, Alexa Bliss to Raw, ladies and gentlemen, the Women's Tag Team Championships are now officially vacant! Women's Tag Titles are vacant! And we saw her wreck havoc earlier, Raquel Gonzalez, who's also a former Women's Tag Team Champion, drafted to SmackDown. Well, let's take a look at the standings right now. Legado del Fantasma over to SmackDown. The Viking Raiders to Raw. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss separated. Nikki to SmackDown, Alexa to Raw. That means the women's tag team titles are now officially vacant. Raquel Gonzalez over to SmackDown. Back live on the WWE Draft. Here in the SAP Center in San Jose tonight, the League of the Universe has been shocked to its score. The Women's Tag Team Championships are now vacant as Alexa Bliss is on Raw and Nikki Cross is on SmackDown. Well, it's time for our next round. Whoa! Cody Rhodes! Well, Cody debuted on Raw and he'll continue on Raw. The former Intercontinental Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, stays on Monday night. Oh, this is a great pick for SmackDown. The former Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion, Tommaso Ciampa, remains on Friday night. Oh, man, what a great pick for Raw. Kevin Owens, the United States Champion, winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble, three-time WWE Champion, Owens, remains on Raw. 
Great pick for SmackDown, Sonya Deville, former Women's Tag Team Champion and the 2022 winner of the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Sonya Deville, welcome to Friday Night. Oh, well, this one doesn't need an introduction. 14-time world champion, the Viper, Randy Orton, stays on Monday Night Raw. And this is how the WWE Universe is looking after the fourth round. Cody Rhodes on Raw, Tommaso Ciampa on SmackDown. United States Champion Kevin Owens remains on Raw. Sonya Deville coming over to SmackDown. And Orton remains on Raw. But well, we are back here at ringside for more of night one of the WWE Draft. Here's a woman that caused havoc earlier, Raquel Gonzalez. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Well, we're going to take you back to what happened earlier tonight between Raquel Gonzalez, Bailey, and Sasha Banks. Gonzalez would interrupt the SmackDown Women's Championship match and attack Sasha Banks, follow it up by attacking Bailey, made an enemy out of both women. Now Gonzalez is set for a tag team match on herself. And we have some breaking news at WrestleMania Backlash in two weeks. We will crown new Women's Tag Team Champions. And it will be the winner of this match taking on another opponent yet to be named. Oh, this is an interesting deal. Dakota Kai joins Raquel Gonzalez. Well, uh, the winner of this match will join a uh, yet named opponent for the Women's Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania Backlash. We know that Kota Kai has found herself a partner in Raquel Gonzalez. A Raquel Gonzalez that already made a statement here on SmackDown by attacking two of the biggest names on the brand. Well, Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai take on Carmella and Manny Rose. There's the bell. Here we go. Important match for all four of these competitors. The winner will move on to WrestleMania Backlash to the Women's Tag Team Championship match. The title's now vacant. And we will crown new champions at WrestleMania Backlash. Dakota Kai going right for the legs of Mella. Mella, of course, deserves the most beautiful woman in the WWE. And a tag is made. Here comes Raquel. Quick tags are a good strategy for a young team like these. You see that cover. Hooks the leg. It's enough for the pass of WrestleMania Backlash. Kick out. Gonzalez dropping that elbow right across the chest of Carmella. And this has essentially become a one on one match as uh, Dakota Kai is busy dishing out punishment to Mandy Rose on the outside of the ring. Side step, Mella slapped to the face. And this could be a turning point for Carmella if she manages to sh uh, switch the momentum well. Shots there by Mella. And if you're someone like Raquel Gonzalez, losing the momentum in a match like this uh, kills your psyche. It just absolutely wrecks you. Good reversal there by Gonzalez. Gonzalez hooks it in. Sends Carmela over the third rope on the apron. Bad intentions picks her up. So right back down inside the ring. Oh, 
Oh, look at those elbows. Right to the face of Mela. Mela needs to let off a shot here. She's in trouble. Mela sent to the rope statement in the middle. Mela doing everything she can to remain competitive in this matchup. And she needs to tag out, and I think that's exactly what she's got to do. Here comes Mandy. Oh! Well, what was that about remaining competitive? Sidewalk slam. And don't go anywhere. There's still more draft picks coming along. The fifth and final round still to come here in the WWE Draft. Now look at this! Mandy Rose with the submission maneuver. It doesn't last long as Dakota Kai breaks it. Mandy looking to uh, hold her own against uh, Raquel Gonzalez here with the backbreaker. And the tag is made. Here comes Mela. And the tag is made. Here comes Dakota. Dakota with a running kick! the drop kick and Mela moves out of the way Mela needs to tag out she does so here comes Mandy Mandy needs to capitalize but Dakota with the reversal shot by Dakota step up and Ziguri by Dakota Mandy Rose in trouble Dakota in control Dakota Kai look at the power through here breaks the eyes of Mandy drops the elbow to the face turns her attention to Mela Mela could be about to get it here and Dakota sends her flying down the ringside Multiple kicks by Dakota. One straight to the face. Leaks into a cover. Hoops the leg. Is it now? Put away. Kick out. Here's Koda. Picking her up. Oh, great reversal by Mandy. Is that cradle? Shoulders down, he's hitting up, put her away, and Mela breaks it off. Mandy just driving Dakota right to the canvas. Great reversal by Dakota. Kick to the plexus, kick to the back of the head. Another kick to the back of the head. Once again, wiping away Carmella from the corner. Mandy looks to capitalize. She can't do it. Bicycle kick by Dakota Kai, who heads to the top rope, who looks down at Mandy Rose, who drops both, both feet, landing across the chest of Mandy, leading us into a cover. Shoulders down. Is it enough to put Mandy Rose away? Head to WrestleMania Backlash. Yes, sir. What a match. Hold on a minute. Sasha Banks and Bailey! Sasha Banks and Bailey attacking Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez! Sasha Banks and Bailey making Raquel Gonzalez pay for earlier tonight, driving her right to the canvas! And ladies and gentlemen, I think we're allowed to say this, aren't we? Well, the surprise opponent for the women's tag team title match has now been confirmed at WrestleMania Backlash. It'll be Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai versus Bayley and Sasha Banks for the women's tag team championships. Who will win the bacon title? We'll find out live at WrestleMania Backlash. Also at WrestleMania Backlash, this has been confirmed after what happened on Monday Night Raw last week. Cody Rhodes makes his WWE debut against Finn Balor. You cannot miss it at WrestleMania Backlash. After winning the Opportunity of a Lifetime ladder match, Rhea Ripley has cashed in her opportunity. She'll go one-on-one -on -one against Io Shirai for the Raw Women's Championship 
at WrestleMania Backlash. And after we found out earlier tonight, the official main event of WrestleMania Backlash will be for the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins and Edge one on one, one more time for the world title at WrestleMania Backlash. All right, let's see who's he gonna be. Well, this explains it all. Dakota Kai joins Raquel Gonzalez as members of Team SmackDown. Oh, this is an interesting pick. Otis and Shaq Gable have been training together to become tag team champions and they have been drafted as a tag team. The Alpha Academy. Great pick for SmackDown, Ricochet. Former Cruiserweight Champion, the one and only Ricochet joining Team Blue on SmackDown. Oh, Riddle! Well, the former UFC Ultimate Fighter and winner of the Andrew Jan Memorial Battle Royal, Riddle, stays put on Raw. It's a shame. I would have loved him on SmackDown, but he stays put on Raw. And our final draft pick of the night is Shayna Baszler. Former Raw Women's Champion, three times SmackDown Women's Champion, and former Money in the Bank winner. What a pick. Happy to have Shayna back on SmackDown. This is the way the, the draft ended. Dakota Kai stays on SmackDown. Alpha Academy moves over to Raw. Ricochet comes over to SmackDown. Riddle stays put on Raw. And Baszler moves over to SmackDown. We thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you on night two of the draft. Good night from San Jose.